How do you manage a relationship in medical school? I get that question from you guys all the time. So today we are joined by my beautiful wife and both of us together are gonna help answer just that question. All right guys, what is going on? Luxury for the MD journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. And today I have my beautiful wife, Priya. Wanna say hi? Hello. So we are going to answer a few questions on how to manage a relationship because it's hard and we admit that, uh, but we've also managed to have a relationship in med school for all four years. We did long distance, mm -hmm. we got engaged in med school, and then we also got married at the very end of med school. So we can check out a lot of different boxes. I'm in medical school, Priya is not in med school. And so again, there's a lot of people probably watching this and something that we say is probably gonna fit you. Either you're somebody watching this, wondering how you can have a relationship with somebody in medical school, or you're somebody in med school or in residency wanting to know how you can make a relationship work. So first of all, if you enjoy this video, if not for me, then for Priya, make sure you smash that like button and just in case, hit it one more time in case it's not working. And make sure to consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly videos. So Priya, basically let's do it this way. I'll throw a question out to you and you can give me your perspective and then I'll give you mine from a med student. So I think the, the most important question is what's the most important thing to make a relationship work in med school? The two C's is what I like to call it, uh, communication and compromise. So nice. having those two. Yeah, so what are some ways that you felt like we kind of communicated or make that work? Well, I mean, in general, just communicating every day, uh, yeah. talking to each other, keeping each other in the loop, um, what our schedules look like because Yes, you're busy, but I also do have a schedule too. Right. Um, and so just having that time set aside for each other. Yeah, I think that was one of the biggest things is that as a med student, obviously your life is busy, but somebody outside of med school may not know that. And so the best thing you can do is Priya mentioned, just communicate saying, hey, like I have a test this Friday, so expect not to hear from me very often. Um, or like, this is a pretty chill week. Like let's make some moves to where we can interact with each other. And uh, as I mentioned, like Priya and I did long distance. So we, what it was like Skype almost every single day our first like year of med school. Mm -hmm. um, it was also my first time living alone. So like yeah. that kind of support system was really good. So we always had a Skype call every night. Uh, Google Hangout, if that still exists. It does. <laughs> uh, we would call each other from classes when she would be going from her class and she knew that I would be free. Mm -hmm. She would just give me a call. Sometimes it would be 30 seconds and often interrupted by very loud Bus. buses. <laughs> um, hate buses now. But th those little moments really make it feel like you're not going through the journey alone and the person feels like they're part of your journey. So communication is huge. And number two is compromise. Yeah. Um, so I, I think one thing that you hit on was right on the head, which is like, it's also important to make sure that while you're busy, you are making them a priority in some form or fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, I think some of the ways we did that, we interacted with each other almost like every two weeks, even though we did long distance, I would some find, somehow find a way to go back home and drive to Austin, which is where we're both from. In-person um, interaction. In-person in interaction, yeah. <laughs> or much nicer, if you can do them. Um, so I would just drive and surprise her or tell her I was coming, and it, sometimes I think it was like for an evening, and I'd be out the next day because I'd have a test. Mm -hmm. But having a dinner together and just having that time is sometimes like worth it. Mm -hmm. So finding that priority, just like I tell you guys, schedule med school into your life and not your life into med school. So find out what's important in your life and make sure like those are people and those individuals are blocked off and then find the rest of the time to study. So Priya, next question. What are some good and cheap date ideas to do knowing that med school students are on a budget? Um, I mean, we really, really enjoy the outdoors. So. Yeah. A lot of times we just went on walks around the lake or we went hiking. Um, we're both from Austin originally, so uh, it's very beautiful outside and so it wasn't really hard to find much. That's true. We'd find parks mm -hmm. wherever we were and like do a picnic. I think when I brought her down to Dallas once, there's like a nice uh, lake that we found that has like airplanes fly over yeah. as they're landing right by the airport and so we just did like a what was it? Grilled cheese? Yeah, um, grilled cheese and like so, pasta or something. Yeah, so those kinds of dates are really fun. And whatever city you're in, whether you're in a like a nice up and upbeat city like Austin or somewhere as boring as, I'm not gonna mention a city because just in case some of you guys are from that city. <laughs> um, but look to see what free things are going on. Maybe there's like food trucks or music events and you can take the person that you're interested in having a relationship with um, there and it keeps you on a budget, but you guys also get to interact with each other. Mm -hmm. And speaking of nature, that just brings this back to my mind is that for our honeymoon, because we got married a couple of months ago, um, we went to Banff in Canada, which was beautiful. Uh, and so I thought I'd just go ahead and like get a couple clips of B-roll for him. All right, shoot it.
All right, so we will do two more questions. Uh, I think another big question is just how do you find the time and know if you have the time to make a relationship work in med school? Um, do you have some things that you feel like maybe we did well that made a relationship work? I mean, again, we talked about the communication and compromise, but I think just being in a relationship in general, like we weren't always very dependent on each other. That's true. If that makes sense. So it's like we had our own lives and we were okay with being our own selves. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't like, oh, like I couldn't be myself. Like I needed our relationship to do right. what I needed to do in my life. So I think that was really key. Like just being okay with ourselves before we were okay in our relationship. Man, she just got deep. Hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's, that's, that's a really good one. I don't think yeah. you can really be in a relationship with somebody, if one, if you're not okay with just spending time by yourself. Yeah, because the other person's like, you can't rely on them to make you happy. Like, yeah. you have to be happy yourself. That's a good one. Um, yeah, before getting that. So. Right, because there are times where I'm not busy, and I'm like, hey, free med student here, let's hang out, and Pritt is busy. Yeah. And I have to understand that, like, she needs to be able to take care of her own life, and if she's busy, then I have to be okay with spending time with myself. <laughs> um, and or vice versa. I, yeah, so, like, I would go play sports when she's busy and play basketball, and... She would do things with yeah. her friends and her uh, obligations and likewise. And we still do that in residency. Um, I think that actually brings me to the last question. It'd be a good like point to end this video is how do you make a marriage now that we're both married? Uh, I'll show off your ring. Yep. Uh, I'll show a picture Sorry, of her. Sorry, I my nails done. Yeah, so. I'll show a picture of her ring because <laughs> her fingers are tiny, so everything looks big on her hands. <laughs> but how do you make a relationship work or a marriage for that fact uh, in residency, which is even busier? Knowing each other's schedules, like... Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys probably can't see it behind us, but we have calendar. a uh, calendar that's like put onto our fridge. That way we always know each other's schedule. We just need to glance at it real quick so I know when he's on call or when he's on clinic week. Or which is this, almost all the time. Yeah, or <laughs> right now, which is his research week. So it's actually very, very chill. Yeah. Um, and for me, it's like when I'm going out of town, I'm literally hopping on a plane in like 30 minutes. So <laughs> we got to get some leave. food. Uh, yeah, um, so it's just knowing each other's schedule and knowing uh, when you can have that free time for each other. Yeah, that's a big one. Like the, you know, for me to communicate my schedule as soon as I know it, and I know like when we can have date nights together, we went to get tacos yesterday because mm -hmm. we both had the afternoon and evening off. So things like that are like super key. And um, just living with somebody is a compromise in itself and just finding the things. I think one of the quotes that I heard uh, way back when that's like always stuck with me when it comes to relationships is that, but it does have to be important to you that it's important to them. So one of the things, for example, that Priya hated when I did, especially when I was in med school, is I would never open, she already knows what I'm about to refer to, I would never open up the packaging all the way, just like until I could like get my hand in there and take it out. And I know some of you guys are like, you monster. <laughs> and that's exactly how she thought too. Um, but I didn't care. Uh, but I did care that she did, so I would just rip it off, and I still do that now. Like, I mean, all the, the wrappers, uh, she can be the judge, um, are removed because I know it's important to her. And there are things that annoy me, don't bother her at all, but she'll do it because she knows they're important to me. So finding those areas of compromise, saying, hey, how, how can I make their lives easier so that way a relationship can flow and get better. Um, but I think that's a, a good place to end, right? Yeah. So guys, if you guys have more questions about relationships or just making anything in med school work, or if you just want to see Priya in future videos, first of all, make sure you <laughs> smash that like button. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, make sure you comment down below. And again, if you did enjoy this video, I'm gonna say it one more time, help this video out, show it to more people looking for help in a relationship by just hitting that like button or sharing it with a friend. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we've been a little help on your journey today. Um, and thanks for joining us on ours. See you guys later. Peace.